SM. This is Bailey here from the South Campus, and I'm excited to open up God's Word with you and continue our series uh, through the book of Acts. You know, when I was 15 years old, I started following Christ, and my life changed dramatically. Uh, I remember being excited to read God's Word. I remember being excited to talk to God in prayer, and I also remember uh, starting to go to my youth group on Wednesday nights. And so God was growing me. He was changing me. Uh, it was just a fun time in my life. At the same time, uh, there were some friends who remembered the old me. And I remember when I went to school, I was so uncomfortable around these friends because I thought that they would think I was fake or a hypocrite or they would think differently about God based off of uh, the old me and how could someone like me start following Jesus. One of the friends that I remember being uncomfortable around was a guy named Chris. And I didn't know Chris very well, um, but from what I did know about him, he was not a follower of Christ, and he did not go to church. And so one Wednesday night, I'm sitting there with my youth group, I'm talking to my friends, and I look behind me, and guess who walked through the doors? Right, it, it was Chris. Uh, and Chris walked in, and he's standing there, and I'm sitting there with my friends, and I just knew God wanted me to go talk to him. Uh, and it wasn't a crazy, you know, magical prompting by the Holy Spirit. It was just I knew that, hey, Chris doesn't know people here. I know God wants me to go be a friend to him. And I remember sitting there looking at Chris and sitting there talking to my friends, and I did not move a muscle because I was afraid. I was afraid that Chris was going to think I was a phony and that he was going to um, think that I was a fake. And I was afraid that he was going to reject me. And, and something that I wish I would have known is that the Christian life, uh, it's not always easy, right? Going and befriending people that we're afraid of isn't always easy. Uh, sharing about Jesus isn't always easy. But what I know now that I miss then is that where God directs us, he will be with us. So today we're going to read about a guy named Philip who was led by God to a specific place for a specific purpose. And as God directed him, God was with him. So open up your Bibles to Acts chapter 8, and I want you to pause the video and read verses 26 through 28, and then start the video back right after that. All right, so you just read about this guy named Philip, and the Holy Spirit directs him to go from where he was down south. Now, Philip doesn't exactly know why he's being directed to go down south, but he obediently follows. And when he does that, he comes across an Ethiopian eunuch who was an important official uh, in his country, and he's riding on his chariot, and he's reading uh, from the prophet, the book of uh, Isaiah. Uh, and here's what the passage says in verses 29 through 31. And the Spirit said to Philip, Go over and join this chariot. So Philip ran to him and heard him reading Isaiah the prophet and asked, Do you understand what you are reading? And he said, How can I, unless someone guides me? And he invited Philip to come up and sit with him. So this eunuch didn't understand what he was reading. And Philip, who's guided by the Holy Spirit of God, he goes over there and he begins to explain to the eunuch what this passage means. And here's what it says in the next verse. Starting in verse 32. Now the passage of the scripture that he was reading was this. Like a sheep, he was led to the slaughter. And like a lamb before its shearer is silent, so he opens not his mouth. In his humiliation, justice was denied him. Who can describe his generation? For his life is taken away from the earth. This passage is Isaiah 53, 7. And it's using figurative language to prophesy about what would end up happening to Jesus. And it uses this language of Jesus being slain as an innocent lamb for our sins, right? for your sins and for mine. And this eunuch didn't understand what he was reading because he didn't know Jesus. And MSM, a reality for you and for I is this. There are people all around us who don't know about the hope that is found in Jesus. And one of the ways that we get to glorify God as believers is that we get to share the good news about Jesus with those who are around us. And that's exactly what we see Philip doing here, starting in verse 34. It says, And the eunuch said to Philip, About whom I ask you, does the prophet say this? About himself or about someone else? Then Philip opened his mouth, and beginning with this scripture, he told him the good news 
about Jesus. You know what's really cool about this passage? It's that Philip was a sinful and a broken man who made mistakes all the time. He wasn't perfect, but God used him. MSM, the main truth that I want you to understand and to hear today is this. Where God directs you, he will be with you. We don't have to have all of the answers, but we can trust that God is going to be with us as we share the good news about him. And I'm sure Philip was afraid to go up to a random stranger who was riding by on his chariot. And I'm sure he probably had some questions as well whenever he was led by the Holy Spirit to go up to this man. But we see how Philip willingly was obedient. And there's a few things that I think we can glean from this tonight, guys. And one of them is this. Uh, God's desire for your life is for you to glorify him in all that you are and all that you do. And you get the opportunity to do that by sharing the good news of Jesus with those who are around you. For each and every one of us, the places that we live, the families that we belong to, the schools that we go to are designed for a purpose. There is nothing about your life that is an accident. God has a great plan for your life and he has a great purpose for your life. And that purpose is for you to glorify him in the places that you live and the places that you interact with others. So just how Philip was faithful to sharing the good news to this Ethiopian eunuch, God is asking us to be faithful uh, in our lives as well. And what's really hard about this MSM uh, is that sometimes we just don't believe that God can use us. We think that we're not good enough. We think that we struggle with sin too much. Or we think that we don't measure up. And we think that God wants us to be perfect. But God has never once asked us to be perfect. So what is God asking of us today? Uh, there's three things that I think God is asking of us. Uh, number one, it's to trust. Trust that God has a purpose for your life. Number two, it's willingness. A willingness to be used by God and to be bold for his name. And thirdly, it's belief that you don't have to be perfect, just faithful. MSM, as you begin to believe these things, God is going to use you to make a difference in the world around you. God has you where you are for a specific purpose, and where he directs you, he will be with you.